in NH3 molecule nitrogen can be hybridized and in pH 3 molecule phosphorus cannot be hybridized. This happens although both the central atoms have 5 electrons in its valence shell. Before we learn answer for this question, let's learn some basic information about these central atoms. As you can see on the screen, in NH3, central atom is nitrogen, atomic number is 7 and electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3. Whereas in pH3, phosphorus is the central atom and atomic number is 15 and electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. 2s2, 2p3 and 3s2, 3p3 are the outermost energy level for NH3 and pH3 respectively. We can see there are 5 electrons in the outermost shell. So the valence electrons for the central atoms is 5 for the both the molecules. There are two important factors to understand this concept. Number one, bond angle. For NH3, 107 degrees and for pH3, bond angle is 93 degrees. And the shape of NH3 is disordered tetrahedral and the shape of pH3 is trigonal pyramidal. Now let's go and find out why NH3 has sp3 hybridization and pH3 has no hybridization at all. Before we learn why NH3 molecule has hybridized central atom and why pH3 does not have hybridized central atom, we will, we, we will learn a couple of interesting points about hybridization. Hybridization is not a physical phenomenon at all. Physically accepted theories at the moment is that atom has a nucleus and electrons roam around in the atom freely. The theory of hybridization is used to describe the physical picture of the molecules. That means we are talking about the geometry of the molecules or you can say the bond angles or bonds of the molecules. Everything about hybridization is an abstract form. The Lewis dot structure of NH3 contains three hydrogen bonds and one lone pair electrons. Generally, nitrogen is a good electron withdrawing group. Even if you compare nitrogen with phosphorus, nitrogen is a very good electron withdrawing group. The reason for this thing is size of the nitrogen atom is very small. The electron cloud around the nitrogen that is bond pair electrons and lone pair electron here they attract close to the nucleus center of the molecule. Because of the size of the nitrogen all the bonded electrons and lone pair they come closer to the central atom or the nucleus of the central atom. When the electrons from bond pair electrons and lone pair electrons they come closer they ripple because of the negative charged particle. The valence electrons of nitrogen are 2s2, 2p3 and it has two shells that is s and p. All the electrons in this valence electron somehow exhibit repulsion force on each other. Therefore, the geometry of this molecule NH3 is dependent on all the valence electrons. They settle up to a molecular structure by creating a bond angle of 109 degrees. Since all the valence electrons involved in the bonding so we can conclude that NH3 exhibits sp3 hybridization. There is one more reason why we can say NH3 is hybridized molecule by considering electronegativity values. For nitrogen, electronegativity value is 3.04 and for hydrogen it is 2.2. The differences in the energies or the differences in the electronegativity tends to have an impact on the molecular geometry. Therefore, it is hybridized. The valency electrons of phosphorus are present in 3s2 and 3p3. Forgive me for the mistake here on the screen. 3p2 is not correct, but it is 3p3. So 3s2 and 3p3 are the valency electrons, 5 valency electrons. And in that energy level number 3, we have d orbital which is completely empty. Naturally, the size of the phosphorus is bigger than nitrogen. The Lewis dot structure of phosphorus or pH 3 molecule contains one lone pair and three bond pair electrons with hydrogen. Because of the size, the repulsion forces between bond pair electrons and lone pair electrons is minimum or not great when compared with NH3. Therefore, these repulsion forces have minimal effect on the bond form on the molecular geometry of this molecule. The three hydrogens occupy the three unpaired electrons present in 3px, 3py and 3pz. 
3s2 does not involve in any repulsion or bonding therefore it is stable from the beginning since all the orbitals are not involving in the bonding it is not hybridized ph3 molecule is not hybridized if you look at the electronegativity difference between phosphorus and hydrogen phosphorus contains 2.19 electronegativity power and hydrogen is 2.2 there is no electronegativity di difference between these two atoms hybridization happens when there is electronegativity difference here in this case there is no electronegativity difference therefore no hybridization the three hydrogens occupy the three unpaired electrons present in 3px 3py and 3pz 3s2 does not involve in any repulsion or bonding therefore it is stable from the beginning since all the orbitals are not involving in the bonding it is not hybridized ph3 molecule is not hybridized if you look at the electronegativity difference between phosphorus and hydrogen phosphorus contains 2.19 electronegativity power and hydrogen is 2.2 there is no electronegative di difference between these two atoms hybridization happens when there is electronegativity difference here in this case there is no electronegative difference therefore no hybridization